what's happening, how are people returning, but also how should we evolve the future office. We are seeing visitors now be classified as employees as well as external uh, parties to the, mm. to the organization. So anyone who's coming into our office, whether they are an employee of ours or are not an employee of ours, are a visitor. Yeah. So we can actually connect the visitor management data with the meeting activity in the house. So now we can it can it interconnect those two parts and have a much better picture. Hey everyone, welcome to today's webinar, Digital Transformation and the Office of the Future. Uh, I'm Justin Craig, Casper. I'm Casper, yeah. And uh, before we get into content today, I wanna do a couple housekeeping items. Uh, number one, please ask questions chat those away in the chat area. Um, we're obviously recording this as well. We'll be distributing it after. Um, anything you need to add, Casper? Those are the those are the big ones. Yeah, perfect. If you're worried about your names appearing in the chat, don't. Um, that's, they do, they do not. So you'll see your own name, but, but uh, everyone else won't. Okay, what are we gonna talk about today? So the agenda for today's call uh, is really, we just really want to talk about how the office has changed over the last couple of years. Um, who the, 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 the office, the, the employees, the visitors, how is all that changing? And then what's next? What's the future? Yeah. And then the whole flow that we see in the future office, but also where, where we are at, where we were, but also how we see both from uh, a Vista point of view, but also from the office view, how that should interconnect to really make uh, a secure and, and well use of the future office. So that's some of the things I'm looking forward to to go through. So it's going to be good. Yeah. Like what? Yeah, I totally agree. Casper, uh, why don't you introduce yourself so yeah. everyone knows who you are? Sure. Yeah, my name is Casper Ulitz. Uh, I'm from Denmark. I'm from a signing workspace team um, responsible for our products that are related to uh, planning uh, the, the, your meetings, uh, having the best meeting rooms, um, the desk, catering service, but also you know the whole planning phase in in, in getting our customers the best view on on the use of, of the office and uh, bringing back data to to our customers so they can uh, navigate. And, uh, and you, Justin? Yeah, uh, my name is Justin Craig. I lead the customer success team at Sign In Enterprise. Uh, so what that means is every customer goes through my team, whether that's through implementation, uh, support, uh, consulting, et cetera, uh, they all go through. So we're, our team's very familiar with use cases. Mm -hmm. We operate globally. So uh, it's, always, it's always nice to kind of share trends of, of what's going on in the visitor management space, yeah. especially how that relates to, to the workspace. Yeah, and that's what I think is super cool about this webinar is you and I, we will discuss the different aspects of the whole visitor management and the whole planning. And I'm super curious, you know, on what you see in, in, in your market yeah. and what we see in Europe and how we can connect that to really cater for our customers no matter where they are in that whole process. But also with a, a bit of focus and attention on that we are aware that the markets and how we return to office and how we use the office are, are differently in the US versus in, in Scandinavia, especially. Sure. Um, so, so that is uh, some of the topics that I think will be need to get into. Yeah. Likewise, let's dive in. Yeah. So Casper. From your perspective, how, how has the office or workspace changed in the last couple of years? Yeah, most of us, all of us know that it has changed dramatically, it has changed faster than we expected. Um, and a lot of company has done a very good job in securing an office that meets the expectation of the employees. Some companies are more on the forefront than others. Um, and what we are seeing now is that is changing more rapidly than we have seen earlier. Um, and when I say more rapidly, it's also something that our customers or the companies are more aware of. You know, They want to have that insight into what's happening within their premise, what's happening, how are people returning, but also how should we evolve the future office? And we have the, these different models. In, 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 in Scandinavia, we do see uh, a tendency that is a three days in the office and optional two days at, at home. Uh, and that is, seems to be where they're heading in, in Scandinavia, especially, mm -hmm. but also Europe. And uh, some are more eager to push it even further. But again, it depends on each company where they see that they will bring in 
the the focus in that in, in within the organization so it's quite differently and w- when we talk about the return to the office justin what do you see in in, uh, in your market yeah from a visitor standpoint we're seeing a couple changes uh number one there's really a redefining of of what a visitor actually is we are seeing visitors now be classified as employees as well as external uh parties to the, mm. to the organization so we're seeing that recategorization of you know, some companies are are saying anyone who's coming into our office, whether they are an employee of ours or are not an employee of ours, are a visitor. Yeah. And so I think that that's a pretty important distinction because mm. I think that I think that plays a lot into how workspace and visitor management start to start to blend together. Yeah. Um, in addition to that, visits are becoming much more intentional. So mm. while historically, um, you know, maybe five, ten years ago. There was a lot of just pop in visits. Hey, I'm going to pop in to my friend here or have a quick business meeting. I'm just going to show up. That doesn't happen anymore. Visits are very intentional. Mm. And and really what that's driven is the need for a visit to be planned. So there's been a lot more emphasis on the planning phase Mm. of a visit. Um, And that's become very critical, not only from a from, I think, your perspective, Mm. what you were saying earlier, but also from an external visitor standpoint as well. Yeah, and and I, when we talked about it earlier, that you, you brought um, the the intentional word on the desk, I say well, that's what it's all about because we see the same flow or tendency in in, in Europe that we just don't get by and say, "Are you in the office today?" I just pop by. No, it, it's planned, and again, it's with all the focus where we all are at with the signing workspace that we see that we have to help our customers have a purpose of the use of the office. And again, it goes to the visitors. They come in with a given purpose, not just, you know, dropping by, right. but it's more planned. And again, that really calls out for how can we help our customers with with getting that data well in time and yeah. avoiding that you have to put in, I work with multiple systems, but how can we with signing solutions and our two products really cater for an experience that will meet those expectations? That's uh, Yeah, and with all these changes, I think we're, we're starting to notice yeah. some issues creeping into what that traditional, I think, visit flow or, or visitor experience looks like. Yeah. Um, if you could pop up that, that graphic, I think it's a good time to start talking through what are some of those challenges uh, that we're seeing. So, you know, planning takes a long time. Uh, guests aren't properly screened. Mm-hmm. So we don't know who's coming in. We don't know if they have all the appropriate paperwork in. And, and this is very heavy in the visitor management space. We work with a lot of very regulated companies as well as like a regular corporate corporate environment. Mm-hmm. And so there are NDAs, there are other, you know, health and safety documentation videos, all, all this stuff needs to be accomplished. And um, if they're not properly screened before you get there, it really creates roadblocks yeah. um, as you enter the facility. Uh, if we don't know who's coming in, the appropriate people aren't there to greet them. No. We are starting to see a trend into receptionless um, lobbies. And so you know, notifications to hosts, notifications that people have arrived, all that stuff becomes even mm. more critical yeah. today than it was previously. Um, you know, once you get there and you do get through all this, you don't know where you're supposed to go. If there's no one there to greet you, there's all mm. sorts of these types of problems. And, and this is really specific to external visitors. Exactly. But I think, as you were saying, the intentional visit from an employee perspective, there's still some issues that that creep up there. Exactly. And, and from the employees that are to visit, their own company or co- go to the, the company to the office, they they require a similar experience that they are created in the reception by the receptionist. Hey, Justin, nice to see you today. Um, I do know that when I come into the office, that a desk is available for me if that's what I require on that given day. I can even, uh, I do even require that a meeting rooms are available. So we we have to really look into ensuring that the resources that are needed for the employees coming into the office, office that they are being met so they actually get some value in coming into the office. So again, we need to have a better view or the companies need to have a better view on you know what's the activity level in our organization today or tomorrow or the day after. Yeah, I, I totally agree. And, and what we're starting to see too, and, and maybe it's a it's a good time to, to start talking about what, what that ideal journey. So by 
doing the planning ahead of time by knowing who's coming yeah. in by doing all that what 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 does an ideal state look like yeah. in the in the years to come um you know planning is mm-hmm. is extremely important um and what we're starting to see on the visitor management side is you know we do a lot with security yeah. departments um that that was kind of our core buyer i would say mm-hmm. uh it, 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 5 5 years ago we're starting to see a blend now where there's multiple departments starting to come together. So you have, you know, facilities or, or workplace services, security. Uh, some companies have trade compliance or some type of, of legal and compliance teams. All of those, all of those three kind of core functions are starting to blend together. Yeah. And I think as as you look at this graphic here and, and some of the problems that start getting solved, you'll see those teams start to come together. Um, you know making sure that someone is invited to come mm. to the office. And when they're invited, they have an ability to complete the documents, the forms, whatever it is that they need to complete before even showing up. Yeah. Depending on the the level of regulation at your company, um, what's required from a compliance, uh, et cetera, standpoint, mm. those can trigger more advanced workflows. Um, so, you know, in the, in, in the U.S., as an example, um, we, have, we have a couple pretty strict industry standards and those need to go through a fairly complex compliance workflow. Yeah. Um, so not only do they filling out information, whether they're a, a, a U.S. citizen, uh, an international visitor, et cetera, they need to go through mm-hmm. different flows and getting that all accomplished before they show up is critical yeah. to making a smooth visitor yeah. experience. Yeah. And then when, when you, uh, when we talk about those topics, it's something that we are happy to see or uh, to, uh, offer our customers uh, that extra add value that they can ha- now have a compliance, a part of the visitor management part, and not something that you need to fill out this paper, you have to do X, Y, Z, but really have it well planned and, and organized. And and again, back to the um, trip to the office. So we, we are really, as you said, intentional. We, we, we are now helping our customers or the, the employee who are planning a meeting that before anybody's coming in, they, they need to have within their tool, Microsoft Office or, or equally, a tool where they can plan the meeting. They can invite their, the visitors, their internal visitors, their, their colleagues. They can find a meeting room uh, or a catering service or even book desk. So that is all planned. And that goes, you know, that we will then have the users or uh, the employees use one tool they don't have to go into a visitor management system, go into booking a meeting room, uh, catering services, or whatever. Now we actually offer them a solution where that flow starts with a really good view that helps them during that process. And we then is- ensure that that flow of information falls uh, through uh, to the visitor management. Um, and, and, and again, another aspect is that I'm coming into the office not only to to have a meeting, but I'm coming in because, you know, my colleagues, Patricia and uh, Matisse is in the office. Um, I can see that they're in the office tomorrow. So I will plan to come in tomorrow as well. And I need a desk, not just any desk. I need to sit beside those two, even though it's cross departmental, because I have a task on that given day that I need to solve. And again, making that whole journey with, with a purpose, uh, I'm not just coming in because there's a desk. That does bring a value, yeah. um, but the, the whole uh, transparency is a super important aspect, both for the employee, with the management, and for the whole organization. And again, what we really try to do is that we want to create a secure environment and having that focus and attention yeah. um, and awareness is uh, something that I think is super powerful with the, with this whole solution setup. Yeah. Yeah, you said you said something interesting there the, about how planning ahead, knowing who's coming in, making sure the meeting room is set up the way that you need it through catering, through you know uh, AV type of equipment required for the meeting. I think that that's that's great from a workspace standpoint. Yeah. And then you start to incorporate when you have mixed meetings where you have both internal and external yeah. uh, visitors, if you will, um, being able to be smart about pushing that data from the workspace solution for planning the meeting and having that automated to know which people as a part of the meeting are internal mm. or employees, which are external and then putting through, putting them through the appropriate path yeah. that they need to go through ahead of time so that when they arrive, 
it's smooth as can be. Exactly. And they have a great visit experience because that's critical when it comes to business meetings, sales meetings, I- any type of meeting that you're having to that uh, to that extent yeah. is is very important. Yeah. And we we are touching a little bit on the smart office, which is also yeah. something that pops on, on, on the radar in, in many articles and discussion today. And the smart that, that we are offering, both from a business management and from a resource uh, point of view, is that we are actually helping the employees choose the best meeting room for that specific meeting that will ensure that they have the best um, surroundings for really having a good, fruitful, and productive meeting. And, and some of the things that we see where business management is super important is if I set up a meeting where we have internal as well as external coming into the office, we might have meeting rooms that are intended for that purpose. Mm-hmm. So with our workspace solution, we can actually ensure that you are suggested a meeting room that fits that purpose. So we are not sitting in a in a small internal format meeting room because that doesn't give us the you know the best uh, uh, way of, of having the meeting or giving the best you know experience for our external customers. So again, using our resources in the office for what's intended um, is, is super important. And again, it's the experience that is we need to cater for that makes it uh, that has to be seamless. Yeah, absolutely. And I, th- I think when you're looking for a solution that solves all of these problems, it, it's finding that solution that has a, a really strong focus on the data around how you're usually using your spaces, whether yeah. that be desks, rooms, et cetera. And you also have a solution that is uh, very intentional about how it routes um, its external visitors yeah. as well as its internal visitors and gets those requirements in place. Yeah. Um, I think those are very two big, big pieces. Mm. And then if you're a very regulated company in a regulated industry, that becomes even more critical yeah. from a compliance standpoint and being able to, to take not only external and internal mm. visitors through the required flows, but also those advanced potentially approvals mm. uh, that folks need to need to have if you are in one of those regulated industries. So being able to to tackle all three of those categories yeah. from a workspace, from a visit management, and from a uh, compliance standpoint, mm. um, they, they all need to fit together in a cohesive, integrated way. Yeah, I recall the first time that we talked about this whole compliance thing. I think, wow, that's that's a huge topic. Um, but is it correct, Justin, that with sign an enterprise, you will be able actually to, to 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 set the level of compliance that that you think meets your expectation, and it's not you know it's tons of of uh, yep. screens that every visitor has to go through. How how configurable is it you know to meet the the different steps? Yeah, I'm glad that you brought that up. It's almost like we plan to talk about that, Casper. <laughs> um, <laughs> flexibility is is paramount. Yeah, uh, you need you need to have the requirements checked off that you need for that type of visitor, mm. but you don't want to do the exact same thing for every visitor. No. And that will vary by location. That will vary by region. Yeah. That will vary by visit type. And so it's, it's very important to have a solution that is flexible accordingly. Yeah. Um, you know, you can adjust a workflow for this visitor type in this type of facility in this country. Mm. Um, and we see that a lot. Uh, with the customers that we work with there it, there is a different flow for just about every visitor type yeah and those vary by not only visitor type but by location type mm. by region etc yeah and th- that flexibility is is extremely important yeah and then you layer on top of that do i need additional uh, compliance approvals mm. workflows etc um on some of those super regulated facilities and, and the answer is you know, we're going to be able to do all of those yeah. things all in all in one cohesive experience. Yeah. And where I've met our customers that had such requirements, I asked us earlier, is that within banking or in pharmaceutical and pharmaceutical, it could be, you know, have you been in touch with livestock for the last two weeks? Yep. Because then you're not allowed to go into the production facilities. If you're a handyman with within uh, the banking, you should be aware, you should not touch these switches at any given time. Yep. Uh, so all these things is something that, of course, I shouldn't, but it has to be in a compliance flow that you have been told, you have acknowledged that you know what the, what the regulation is working on this premise, and, and that is, uh, that's neat. And one thing I also really like about our solution is also our delivery team. Uh, we have had customers, you know, we wanted all, we wanted this complex, we wanted all this stuff and running. We say, well, 
let's have that as a target as a goal, but let's start from this point and move forward. Yep. And again, the configurable stuff that we have, adapting it to the customer and letting them grow with the solution is something that we deem as being super important to ensure that we actually meet the goals with our customers. Yep. And uh, that, that, is, that is something that we uh, really uh, want to ensure. So that's uh, super nice. And one thing that we also touch upon briefly um, is all the data that we have. Yeah. And prior to um, to having signed an enterprise, the Vista management for enterprise up and running, um, we, we did have some information on, you know, what Vista came in. But now with the sign-in enterprise uh, uh, Vista management, we can actually connect the Vista management data with the meeting activity in the house. So now we can, it can it, interconnect those two parts and have a much better picture with the customers on what's the Vista flow, employee flow, which resources are being used and not used. So they can really, you know, go towards this uh, outstanding office experience uh, mm -hmm. and ensure that they are following the trend or the requirements for the, for the offices. Yeah, it's really interesting to start to see these things blend together, like yep. you said, but it, it becomes extremely powerful when you talk about it from a data standpoint. So, you, you know, you just talked about uh, the data flow for which, fa which facilities, which spaces are being utilized and, you know, how would that maybe change our investment or, or change how we think about yep. how we use these spaces. And being able to take that information, combine it with mm. why are people here? Who are they meeting with? Um, what type of visitor are they? Did they hit a, you know, a watch list or a, a, a bolo type list? Yeah. Um, you know, ha having that se secure space, not only from an investment mm. and workspace utilization standpoint, but also from a safety health, health and safety uh, standpoint yeah. is, is, is pretty powerful. Yeah. And we have even had customers, you know, that had this, huge amount of data, we help them do dashboards where it could expose some issues. Mm -hmm. It's not that we had the answers to each of those issues, but just exposing to them that awareness of their resource usage was something that was super helpful for a lot of our customers they weren't aware of. Yeah. And again, helping with our customers, them in their journey going forward is is something I think is super interesting. Uh, and and I do know that we will learn a lot going forward as yeah. we see changes will happen more often. But again, we want to do it with our customers and the customer wants to do it with us. And that makes it much more powerful. Um, that will be, that would be good. Yeah, you used a word earlier um, mm -hmm. when we were talking predictive. Yes. So having all this data is, is step one. Yeah. Step two is how can we predict the future mm -hmm. in terms of, visits, space, et cetera. Yeah, and, it, and again, the whole planning, now that people start to plan ahead, mm -hmm. we will have an idea, what do we expect for the next week? Exactly. And even you, you can see what was the tendency last year, same period, if it wasn't Corona, that, then you have some predictive data to work from. So yep. we actually see um, lower amount of, of visitors in, in June, July, especially in, in Denmark, which is the summer months, but in other regions or other businesses, the, the flow might be kind yeah. of different. And again, you can then say, well, we need extra uh, people in the reception to yep. meet and create. We need extra office floor managers to ensure that everything is good on the floor. And again, giving them that tool for planning is, is also very uh, interesting. Yeah, important. it just creates a lot more efficiencies than you've been able to have before. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, so, and again, the purpose of this meeting was really to, because I found it super interesting to talk with you, Justin, on where Likewise. we're heading as signing solutions and with the super powerful products offering that we will of our customers that is configurable, adaptable, where they're at. But also, again, really telling that now we are actually offering a solution flow um, that works from when a visitor come into the reception to the flow in the office and the use of the office. Yep. And that is uh, something that I'm super proud of that we are on that journey. And uh, yeah, yeah. I'm, it's very exciting. Um, moving, just shifting this whole this whole journey forward. Yeah. Um, not just from a, not from an innovation standpoint alone, but also, you know, logically from a planning phase and really emphasizing on that, on that planning yeah. phase of the, of the visit. Yeah. yeah. Should we get some questions? Let's hit some questions. 
So that's one from Katrine Hansen. Uh, how do we justify wanting to implement a new solution during a recession? Yeah, so, and again, super important. And as I mentioned earlier, the whole transition that we see for the future office is happening right now. And instead of just um, planning without having data or having an idea, which could be quite expensive, having a solution like Signage Workspace where you will offer a simpler way of booking resources or inviting visitors, but also have a better view on what do we actually need. Mm -hmm. So even though that we might hit a recession, a solution like, like ours will actually help you get an idea on the expenses that needs to have in, in the office. Yeah. So, so yeah, it's a chance for, for you to use your money more effectively. So yeah. it's actually a cost savings for sure. From a visitor management standpoint, um, you know, I think a lot in terms of risk and compliance. Mm. Um, and when you're, when you're talking about knowing who is coming in, what they need to do before they enter, who they can, who, where they can go, who they can yeah. see while they're on site. Um, there are penalties associated mm. with that. If you're not in compliance, especially if you're in a highly regulated industry or, um, you know, uh, a highly regulated like location, yeah. for example. Uh, so knowing mm -hmm. and having an audit trail of who's entered, what they've completed, who they saw, what they did is, is huge for, for preventing those, those audit issues yeah. uh, that you might run into. Yeah. And again, make it super simple for the employees and for the visitors by, you know, really ensuring a user or employee experience mm -hmm. that that uh, they that they want to work with is uh, something that is important as well yep any other questions out there but if any questions should come up later on please reach out to us uh, we're more than happy to look into it and get back to you um, you will find our product websites below yep so sign in workspace, sign in enterprise, sign in bodies. Uh, so we are signing solutions. So yep. whatever we are here to to support and uh, and reach out to you. So please, uh, yeah. And let I, us know. I, I'm excited to share kind of what what's coming too. So you know, as a as a teaser to this, you know, there's probably an upcoming webinar where we'll be able to actually show yeah. what an integrated solution would look like and how powerful that would be. So I'm I'm looking forward to that. Definitely. And I'm com I'm committing to. When are we? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, but we're working on it now. Yeah. Uh, and it's, it's pretty exciting. So uh, looking really looking forward to that. Yeah. So what we've talked about today, we will actually be able to present and that that for sure. Yeah. So that would be in the next teaser. Coming soon. Yes, coming, coming soon. soon. Yeah, we're excited about it. <laughs> super, super good. Yeah. All right. Well, hey, thanks for everyone's time. Thank you, Casper. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Great chatting with you. It's it great, to be, great to be in Denmark. There you go. Thank thanks you Thanks, everyone, for your time.